Most prokaryotes are encased in rigid but porous cell walls that protect them from rupturing due to osmotic pressure in watery environments and give different types of bacteria their characteristic shapes. The most common shapes include rod-like bacilli, spherical cocci, and corkscrew-shaped spirilla. About half of all prokaryotes are capable of directed motion. Spiracetes move in a rolling motion created by a helical wave generated by internal fibrils. Many cyanobacteria and other bacteria glide on surfaces via a mechanism that scientists have yet to fully understand. While some aquatic prokaryotes move up and down in the water by adjusting the amount of gas and vesicles in their cytoplasm. But by far the most common form of locomotion in prokaryotes are flagellum. Prokaryotic flagella may cover the entire cell or form a tuft at one end. Each prokaryotic flagella consists of a single fibril of the protein flagellin. Unlike the flagellum of protists, which are complex structures made up of multiple proteins and covered by a cellular membrane. Further, the flagellum of bacteria simply rotate rapidly in their base, as opposed to beating in a whip-like motion, as do the flagellum of protists. Recent research has revealed that it is a unique wheel-like structure embedded in the cellular membrane and cell wall that allows the flagellum of prokaryotes to rotate. In fairly uniform environments, flagellated prokaryotes travel randomly. In non-uniform environments, some prokaryotes exhibit taxis, or the capability to move toward or away from a stimulus. In the case of chemotaxis, prokaryotes move toward chemical stimuli, such as food and oxygen, and away from stimuli, such as chemical toxins. Most mobile photosynthetic prokaryotes exhibit phototaxis, which causes them to move towards light. In some flagellated prokaryotes, magnets formed within the cytoplasm from iron crystals allow them to orient according to the Earth's magnetic field. This allows detection not only of north and south, but also up and down. These magnetotaxic bacteria often live in aquatic sediments and find too much oxygen toxic. Using their unique sensory system, they direct their rotating flagella to carry them into deeper layers of sediment, having the low oxygen and nutrient-rich conditions they require.